गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वन सेकेंड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल द नेशन नीड्स यू आई एम आर सी मिश्र सॉफ स्किल ट्रेनर विद्या सागर क्लासेस भुवनेश्वर उड़ीसा सो फ्रेंड्स ओके वी आर हियर विद ए न्यू लेशन दैट इज न्यू इन माई चैनल एंड वट इज दैट लर्न कॉमन मिस्टेक्स विद मिश्रा सर इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू मैक हंड्रेड वीडियो on multiple uh, grammatical mistake that we are doing in our day to day life so through this videos it will help you to find out your common mistake as well as you will come to know what is the mistake and how to get the solution for it so when the topic came common mistake in english grammar okay in spoken language it is okay to make mistake but whereas where it's come to speaking or where it's come to writing let's say you are writing a letter you are writing a email uh, to someone or you are writing an essay so there if you are going to make mistake so obviously this is going to give you a awkward situation like you are going to feel a little embarrassed sometime it might disturb you or you may feel bad for it so that's why it is very much essential to know the what are the common mistakes are there that may happen with us in our writing so mostly the common mistake are came from okay subject verb agreement okay question came from uh, common mistake we did mistake in irregular verb the uses of irregular verb modal verb preposition articles question formation obviously tenses many people make mistake in tenses okay conditional and adjective and uh, many more okay so in this video series what i am going to do i will take one subject so in today lesson i want to give you few example that where the mistakes are there and we will find its solution with the elaborative discussion everyone so say stay tuned to this channel this video so first we will talk with subject verb agreement let's begin the exercise everyone hello everyone here we go with some common mistake along with their answer for that you see that there is a diagram at the top if you have subject like i you they and it is plural then you are going to use have eat ram let's say run and walk so there will be no changes okay in the verb and if you have subject uh, such as he she it or any singular noun then you are going to put has in that way eats let's say ram there is a sentence ram eats mangoes so here why i said eats because it is what subject verb agreement so here ram is what here ram is what singular here so i can say eats and mangoes i don't know the quantity that's why i say mango become mangoes so this is the rule let's go for the exercise he have two sister what is that he have two sister so here he is there so we are going to put what instead of have we are going to use what has he has two sister okay that is correct number 2 many people likes to go on vacation many people likes to go on vacation in the summer it sound well but grammatically incorrect here let's say many people okay so what is that many people it's going to be a what plural noun here so you are going to put what like so many people like to go on vacation in the summer okay let's move to question number 3 ram and situ ram and situ lives in bhubneshwar okay ram and ram and situ ye jo ram and situ this is what everyone this is going to be what plural obviously okay no doubt they are individual then it uh, consider as what plural here so you are going to say live 
L I V E. This lives is incorrect. So you can say Ram and Situ live in Bhubaneswar. Let me give you one more example. There is ten. Okay. There is ten apples in the basket. There is ten apples in the basket. Okay. Ten apples. This is going to be as plural. Obviously, that's why you are going to put here not each. You are going to put here there are. Okay. So here ten apples. So you are going to put what here? You are going to put here are. There are ten apples in the basket. यहाँ पे there के वजह से भी लगा है एक बोल सकते हैं और in the basket. दो बास्केट यहाँ पे क्या है टेन एप्पल्स है ये प्लूरल आ जा रहा है ओके ना मूव टू वन मोर एग्जाम्पल एवरी वन नो दैट द सन राइजेस इन द ईस्ट ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर एवरी वन ओके एवरी दिज आर वर्ड इनडेफिनाइट आई कैन से सो एवरी वन एवरी वन एनी बडी दीज आर ऑल वाट नो दीज आर ऑल ऑलवेज सिंगुलर लेट से पुलिस इज ऑलवेज प्रूरल इन दैट वे हियर एवरी वन सो यू आर गोइंग टू से एस यू आर गोइंग टू पुट वाट एस एवरी वन नोज दैट द सॉन्ड राइजेस इन द ईस्ट ओके एट द एंड लेट मी गिव यू एन अदर एग्जाम्पल ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू राइट अ क्वेश्चन लेट मी सी हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कैन answer to me okay okay now here the question where we are going this is a complicated question yes everyone uh, i as well as he dash going to the market okay you have option like each am and are take your time you everybody have you are going to have one minute time please go for it look at the question very carefully the question is i as well as he dax going to the market and you have option like each am r as i predict most of the student they are going to put here what each which is 100% incorrect and some few people they want to do something new and they are going to put r with their intelligence that is also not going to work here english grammar is always meant with what rule it is also run with only rules the right correct answer is m this is 100% i can say 1000 for say correct now you have a question in your mind sir how it's possible from my childhood i learned that uh, he is a player he is a teacher he is a doctor now how it's possible let me tell you in uh, detail so here this is a indirect sentence if i make it direct i can say i am going to the market as well as he what i can say i am going to the market as well as he so this is indirect this is direct and one more thing is that here as well as is a phrase added here here i is the subject what about he are you going to put the verb with the with reference to the subject or with reference to the pronoun because here he is a personal pronoun you might know he is a personal pronoun so you are not going to put here is according to he you see when there is a contractory situation in grammar the sentence is an indirect sentence and there is a as well as phrase added i am not telling that all the way uh, everywhere you are going to put uh, am no that is not sound well that is not going to work out but here in this particular context or situation as well as as a phrase is there i and he is there so obviously with grammar rule you are going to put priority to i and according to i you are going to put here am can i put i am a boy i am a boy can i do this or not everyone obviously i can do it in that way i as well as he am going to the market 
obviously this is going to be a competitive question so this is not going to help you more in spoken language and uh, those who are now preparing for spoken english courses okay please contact on the below given number uh, there are so many batches are going on online right now also you are also going to be a part of our amiable and friendly classroom where we are helping each and every individual student to uh, accelerate their english language and their english proficiency you also going to be a part of our journey successful journey so those who are new to the channel kindly subscribe to it if you really like the video uh, please share it to other the other will also come to know and they will also improve in their speaking as well as in their writing and other skill so anyhow thank you so much for giving your time this is only one question another question we talk subject verb agreement i will come along with for uh, in the next video with some new question along with the other mistake that you are going to make in future so one time if you make mistake it is okay but if you are going to make the mistake for thrice and fourth time fifth time it is going to be a offense everyone anyhow thank you so much for spending your happy time with me have a nice day thank you jai hind